The third generation of the Nissan Frontier has been revered as the best Frontier to date, and it offered quite a lot of value for money, even compared to its top competitors. However, even with its alluring low price tag and unique boxy design, the Frontier still could not truly rival the Segment Kings. Thankfully, the all-new version of the Frontier sets out to eliminate the issues of the outgoing model, all while retaining its virtues over the competition. So let us hop right into it and check out how the all-new 2025 Nissan Frontier shocks the entire car industry. More Modern Powertrains One of the biggest nudges about the Nissan Frontier has been its choice of engines, or lack thereof, to be precise. If you were thinking of buying the Frontier, you had no choice but to go for the 3.8-liter V6 engine. And while it is a perfectly adequate workhorse engine, pushing out some odd 310 horsepower and 280 pound-feet of torque, it was still too thirsty for most people, while also being not quite powerful enough to serve as a true powerhouse. However, thankfully, this has been remedied with the 2025 model, as you will now be getting an expanded choice of engines. They will all be the same 3.8 V6. However, they will have several changes. There will be a higher power output variant, which will utilize a small turbocharger. This will, in turn, lower consumption noticeably, especially around town. MPG figures with this power plant are expected to rise from 18 miles per gallon city to 20 to 22, and highway gas mileage will reach 25 miles per gallon. Not to mention that you will also be getting quite a bit of torque and power with it, making the Frontier the workhorse it truly deserves to be. However, this engine will be an optional extra. Then you can rest easy knowing that the naturally aspirated engine will be revised. The changes will not be drastic. However, you should expect at least 10 to 20 horsepower more, which is quite a welcome improvement. The MPG figures are also expected to take a hike, albeit there will not be any drastic changes in that department. But the expanded engine choice is not the only thing that has changed compared to the outgoing model, as we will also be getting updated exterior design. The Nissan Frontier has undoubtedly been quite the refreshment in the mid-sized pickup truck market in terms of how it looks. The boxy, no-nonsense style that was borderline retro paid homage to old pickup trucks and gave the Frontier a unique panache in a sea of boring and generic pickup trucks. Well, Nissan just decided to double down on the design and make it even more interesting than it used to be. The truck will retain most of its distinct features. However, Nissan has decided to tweak some of its weak points. For example, the rear of the Nissan Frontier will now boast slimmer, full LED taillights that give the car a sharper and more athletic look, while also doing wonders for its retro-esque aesthetic. The sides have also gotten a bit more prominent, amplified by the addition of side steps that are expected to appear on higher-end models. We are also very keen on the fact that the Frontier will now be getting more modern-looking wheels, bringing the truck more in line with this competition without sacrificing its identity. However, the biggest change is, by far, the front of the truck. The new Nissan Frontier now comes with slimmer headlights and a more prominent grille design, which makes the car stand out quite a bit. Honestly, it looks both more subdued and more in-your-face than the previous model, and it reminds us slightly of the new Land Cruiser, which is a plus in our books. However, apart from the outside, Nissan also decided to delight us with a significant interior upgrade. There is no denying that the Nissan Frontier had quite a disappointing interior up until now. It was built quite mediocrely and the design and layout were much closer to the 90s than the 2020s. Thankfully though, the 2025 model sets out to fix these issues altogether. First, the materials used will now be much better, with soft touch plastics being used across the dashboard's top and bottom parts. Not to mention that everything will be fitted much better, with much more care and fewer panel gaps. Furthermore, the interior will now have quite a bit of tech, compared to the outgoing model. First, 
the outdated infotainment system will now be replaced by a newer and larger unit, which will be more responsive and much cheaper, allowing drivers to read and use it more easily. The climate controls will also be modernized, now utilizing a more modern digital screen to show off info and relying less on buttons. Most controls, such as the two dials, will remain. However, the central part of the console will now look less cluttered than before. Finally, you can also expect a digital gauge cluster. This will further amplify the ease of use that the facelift intends to introduce. Granted, not all trim levels will come with it, but having some additions is better than having none at all. Increased amount of standard features. The Frontier was, to put it lightly, quite an under-equipped vehicle, especially on the lower trim levels. Advanced safety features were quite scarce, and the truck generally felt much more old-worldly in character than most of its peers. And while there is nothing wrong with that in terms of how it looks and drives, the fact that it was lagging behind its competition in terms of safety isn't good. Well, the new Frontier now has quite a lot going for it in this regard. First, even the base model will come with Nissan's Pro Pilot Driver's Assist. This means that the Frontier will come with quite a bit of semi-autonomous features as standard, making it stand out from the crowd in terms of safety. Granted, the higher trim levels will have more advanced variations of the Pro Pilot. However, even the lower end models will be quite modern in this regard. Apart from this, you can also expect the 8-inch small touchscreen to be completely phased out. In its stead, you'll have the 9-inch touchscreen, which was the range-topping infotainment screen before the introduction of the newly introduced one. However, with such a vast amount of new features, pricing, and trim levels, the Nissan Frontier has always been quite alluring because of its low price tag, and that will not change for the 2025 model. However, what will change are the trim levels, as we expect the hard body edition to be dropped due to the design changes. Apart from that, the other trim levels are expected to remain in the same price range. Starting from the base model Frontier S, you'll be getting quite a bit of kit compared to the outgoing model, the most notable of which is the inclusion of additional safety and semi-autonomous features. Sure, you won't be getting any sort of style with it, but since the price will be less than $32,000, we cannot complain. Next up is the SV, and it will be a stylistic improvement over the regular S. Alloy wheels, fully painted body panels, as well as an expanded choice of colors, are all going to come as standard. That said, you shouldn't expect any real difference in terms of equipment. You'll get a power-adjusted driver's seat, and that will essentially be the end of it. Still, it won't be much more expensive than the S either clocking in at some $3,000 more. The Pro X is expected to have an increased ride height compared to the regular ones, as well as utilize rugged exterior details to make the car look much more off-road. Furthermore, you'll also get bigger wheels, as well as full LED headlights and taillights. Finally, with the Pro X, the new infotainment screen will also come as standard, and you could opt out of the fully digital gauge cluster too. All that for just $37,000. But the Pro X doesn't come with AWD, so to get it, you'll have to opt either for the SV 4x4 or the Pro 4X. If you ask us, skip the SV 4x4 and go for the 4X, as it retains the Pro's kit and even amplifies it by adding the Bilstein off-road shock absorbers, improved interior features, as well as additional exterior details. Sure, it's quite a bit more expensive, clocking in at around $40,000, but you'll be getting quite a good off-roader for the money. Finally, the range-topping SL adds quite a bit of luxury amenities to the equation. This includes leather seats, a sliding rear window, a digital gauge cluster as standard, and an electric moonroof with a tilt feature and other quality-of-life upgrades but it will start from around $41,000, which is expensive, especially since 4x4 will cost you an additional $3,000, which is hardly worth it. If we were in the market for a Frontier, we'd honestly go either for the Pro or the SV. 
the SV will have everything you need, and its price is quite alluring, making it the best of the bunch. However, we still cannot deny the stylistic improvement, as well as off-road features that the Pro brings, despite only being a 4x2. If you're looking for a 4x4, nothing but the Pro 4 makes sense, but it is very pricey for what it is.